Disclaimer, we are not professionals. We are not financial advisors. This is not financial advice. Do your own due diligence and enjoy the video. What's going on, guys? Reviews are back with another video. Today, we'll be looking at Epico Regal. We're going to be moving over to Pokemon. We're going to be looking at Straight Fire. Straight Fire. First, Epico Regal. So if you guys haven't seen, Epico Regal posted a confirmation type of thing with Ecomi. Basically, just putting out that they're partners with Ecomi. But Ecomi has not came out or Vivi or anybody on the team has came out and said that they are officially partnered. So we do not know 100%. But if we look over on the owner of Epico Regal, we can see that he does have a picture with David and Dan. So after looking through Epico Regal, we can see that's connected to WharfStreetStudios.com. Go over there and see some of these characters for the mobile game that they're going to be coming out with here maybe soon, which we'll see just in a second. But these are some characters that we can see. And Ben was talking about before, and they could be releasing these characters on Vivi and dropping them for us to buy out and then play with these exact characters in the game. So it says yes, launch sir. date coming soon. Yeah. And on, I, I think it's Epico Regal's website or somewhere they mention they have a game, they have like comics, which Carter kind of mentioned in some previous videos when he was checking out the Epico Regal storybook. Book. Yeah. And then they also mentioned that they have collectibles. And so that's really where I see the link between Vivi. Once again, this is all speculation, but they say here, Epco Regal's fast-paced brawler game designed and developed by Warp Street Studios, where players have a face-off with each other, win trophies, and earn points. Uh, I don't know. I mean, they, they don't really elaborate here. If they were to collab with Vivi, I'm wondering if it would be, you know, Omi would be integrated some way, but who knows? The game is unique because of characters which are inspired by Eastern legends, and the players will have a chance to collect digital collectibles ooh, and also get an experience or get to experience augmented and virtual reality with this game. Secured by Sir. latest technologies like artificial intelligence, Epico Regal is one game which will soon give you a whole new gaming experience. So, yeah, I don't know. I, like, because after after hearing that uh, video with Randy, the interview, I'm, I'm really starting to think there's going to be a game coming out here soon. And I'm, I'm excited for it. So if we look over at Ecomi's website, this was long. This was tweet or not launched or tweeted. This was released. posted in yeah. 2019. And this is a little gamification section of their medium article. It says more details will be released on these experiences in due time. However, we're, and this is talking about gamification, but they basically say, for example, owning a street fighter digital collectible will grant you access to play a multiply multiplayer street fighter AR game, which can be played against other Ecomi collect users who also own street fighter digital collectibles. So yeah. what if this game coming soon, is actually the Street Fighter digital collectibles. And maybe it's yeah. not Pokemon because and most of you guys definitely have seen that Street Fighter footage. We'll probably yeah. show that to you. But um, yeah, we can just play this in the background. But yes, sir. So here's like an example of what that would be like. Shout out to Abhishek Singh. I believe yes, that's the original creator of this. We originally thought it might be Street Fighter or Vivi. And this was like some early kind of like beta testing videos released. But that is the official creator. So all credit to him. Uh, but yeah, I think, you know, we could expect to see something like this. And it's really odd that they mentioned Street Fighter in the example, considering this video was released in 2018. So I don't know. It's def I mean, it's all speculation, but it's very interesting. And I'm but very also, hyped to see this. Um, they were like Alex and or not Alex, somebody on the VV team, the discord, they were talking about action and like how yeah. if you like action, which could have been that 007 car. It definitely yeah. could have been the 007 car. But if it's not the 007 car, this fits exactly action. Like this is the definition yeah. of action. And on and top of that, we have the little um, interview with Randy talking about how there's a game that's almost ready to be released and like basically yeah. done, he said. So and I don't know. This this is another thing that once again, I don't think this is Vivi. Shout out, you know, all credit to Abhishek Singh. But um, I think this is another thing that Vivi might be working on or could definitely be doing in the future is something like that, where collectibles either interact with each other, like we've seen with the ghost trap or like something like the cars, like there's some element of like destruction in terms of interaction. So like maybe if you walk up to the 007 car and you like punch the window or something, it registers that and you like can break the window in AR. I don't know, but I definitely yes, think uh, that is possible. And Got some more Pokemon leaks here. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Ben found this video after the video from yesterday. So we're going to be looking a little bit more at this. And it's just so sweet to like look at how this stuff is actually possible. Because, I mean, a few years ago, like it really, I mean, I, obviously this was about a few years ago when this started to, to pop up and stuff. But yeah, like 10 years ago, like this wasn't even like an imagine. Like, <laughs> Yeah, it, it looks it looks kind of goofy, but at the same time, it's really cool to know that things like this are kind of in development. And I think 
I don't know if that's the current kind of headset they are planning on dropping for the Niantic like uh, AR headset, but that seems to be the one they have, at, you know, in 2021. So I'm curious to see where that goes because I feel like they'll kind of, I don't know, make it a little less hunky or whatever, a little, yeah. I don't know, a little cooler looking, Look <laughs> but the, who knows? The Pokemon's following them and they can see each other's yeah. Pokemon stuff. It's going to be crazy. Cause like, this is going to release at some point. It's just, I, yeah, I definitely point. think this is also super sweet. We are moving towards this and it's just a matter of time. It's all speculation once again, but I mean, considering that Niantic research or whatever released that video, it's very promising. Also, just to go back, can you go back to the Wharf Studios real quick? Yes, um, just to re-emphasize, if the Epico Regal thing isn't just speculation, it does end up materializing. If we go down and right where I was reading, they say the digital collectibles. And then they say, what is it? The Eastern Legends. I really think it's possible if they end up partnering with Vivi or if they are already partnered that they drop a bunch of those Eastern legends. You buy those like we would for Marvel Mighties or something, and then you have a bunch to pick from. You can go play as those, fight other people, earn the points, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I just wanted to make that note quick because I could really see that being something they end up dropping on the app. Yes, sir. And there also isn't a ton of VV related news. That's why we are going into stuff like this. If more, if, yeah, if more <laughs> VV stuff comes out, we're definitely going to be covering it like always. But Spider-Man Woman, Spite, oh my, I said the same thing last time. Spider-Woman <laughs> number 37 dropping here tomorrow. I think the Go Collect was sitting at 140 for the 9.7 or 9.8 or something. So nothing crazy. Let's see the additions. It is 30,000 additions. So the common will probably end up sitting under retail for this one. Yeah. I mean, what, what's we'll your have to... cover out of them? I like the secret rare. I like the common. I might pick this up after market, but um, yeah, I'd agree with you. I don't think it's going to be sitting at any crazy price, uh, and, but yeah, it is nice to see the variety. And I think I said this in yesterday's video, but just having the options so that when a new user comes in and they might get discouraged after missing a drop or something, there are still some options available for them to go buy. So they're kind of like satisfied or their user experience is a little better. Cause I know vivi has got some bad ratings in the app store right now, sadly, because of issues like that. So I definitely think it's nice to see stuff like this. Yes, sir. And also like picking some of the stuff up is pretty cheap master collectors points. If you guys are looking to do some master collectors yeah. points grinding out there, these, yeah. <laughs> these comics are looking pretty scary, pretty spooky. Yeah. Um, it, the I like the rare and ultra rare, the VV exclusive. The ultra rare right? is my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Those look like really nice. Ultra- I, mean, I like, I don't know. I all like of all these. of them actually. Yeah. They are really cool. Even the uh, black and whites look good for both of these because they like really fit the like kind of theme that's yeah. looking like if that for the go collect, it's came out in 2004. So it's a newer comic and Ben was thinking it wasn't going to be expensive because of that, which is usually true, but let's look at what it is. Yes, 9.6 is going for 900. So that's Not actually really good. Yeah. Yeah. Really good definitely. for a 2004. So it's cool that we're getting this. Can't wait to see how many additions. I'm guessing it's going to be a lower amount of additions. I mean, I'm hoping at least. Maybe yeah, it'll don't come really, out like 10,000. They don't seem to hint at it in this description oh, true, true, like true. they true. usually do, but it could be. If not, I'm really, I don't know. I don't really know what to think for price predictions for this because sometimes they follow the real world, real world value and sometimes they don't. So I'm guessing this might be a little bit above seven maybe, but... It's hard to tell. So yeah, let us know what you guys think about those comics though and all the speculative news. I know a lot of people don't like it. I know a lot of people love it. So yeah, yeah. let us know what you think about that. So we got a dragon girl for the bingo pick and we're going to do one more That's bingo cool. pick because That's Diorify cool. Hunter was wanting another one. So we're getting two today. So we got okay, the- Okay, okay. Oh, oh, Steamboat Willie. Ooh. Oh, it's Steamboat Willie. So Steamboat Willie cool. and Dragon Girl. So we have uh, five bingo picks, I think now. OG, so, OG yeah. Devil Bunny, uh, Steamboat Willie. What was the? I, I can't remember them. Check the Discord though. There's a bingo <laughs> tab for the Discord. There's five of them in there, so somebody can get a bingo. There, because you only need four to get a bingo. So check your yes, cards. Sir. First five winners are gonna be getting everything in the pool. If you guys like the video, drop a like, subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button if you want to be notified when we post. This is VV Vision, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Let's go, homie, homies. Let's go. Let's go, homie, homies. Let's go. Homie, homies. Let's go.